Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris HFM and this is part three of rebuilding the castle. Now, since you were last with me, we've actually been doing all right. I mean, we were here for the first two games of the season. We then went and beat Bedworth 3-1. Villa was a friendly. I don't know why they're doing friendlies mid-season, but it's, starting, it's a bit weird for me. And then drew 0-0 with Corby. Beat North Lee 1-0, beat Draventry 2-1, Howes Owen 2-1, lost 2-1 to Tame. That was our first loss that we've had in this save so far. We then went and got a one all draw at home to Colshill. Now, today, obviously, we're going to cover both of these games. The FA Cup second Premier League round and the Southern League Cup first qualifying round. They'll be the first two and after those results, this is what the league looks like at the minute. As you can see, we are joint top with Tame on 20 points, one point clear of third. Uh, Kempson and Kidlinson are evidently the two we played first two games of the season, the 20th and 19th respectively. Uh, Stuart, Treble, Stuart Tebble is joint top of the assists with five. We've got nobody in the goals average rating. Player ratings, we have Tommy Oakley with four Man of the Match awards. So, it hasn't been going too bad. We've been doing all right. We're, uh, we're doing a lot better than I expected us to do. Uh, anyway, team for today. First FA Cup game of the save. Potter in goal. Kelly at right back. Oakley and Bonner centre-backs. Cleaver left back. Doolin in the holding role. Green and Kirkpatrick, which I'm actually going to change because he hasn't been performing well. We're going to put Alajubu back in. Bentley, Chamberlain and Bernie up top. The only reason Tebble's been left for this, aside for this game is because his fitness levels aren't 100% great. And it's the FA Cup, so I'd rather keep him fit for the league at the minute. Because, I mean, realistically, if you look at it this way, we're not going to win the FA Cup this season. So, I mean, we'll try and get as far as we can. But winning it is a little bit of a step too far for a tier 8 non-league football club All right, here we go then Green picks the ball up, plays it back to Dolan Dolan now, forward Alajibi has a go and that's gone in it's really poor piece of goalkeeping that's given us the lead there I'm not too sure I think Burke, Beaconsfield sorry, not Burko, we're Burko Beaconsfield are in the same sort of level as us but in a different division because it is a little bit weird how the divisions are all split down the bottom and all over the place. But yeah, I think they're the same level as us. In the uh, the next cup game we're going to do, it's the league below. Richard Bentley makes it to us. His sixth goal of the season. He's 16 years old. Six goals at the sixth goal of the season. He's going to be absolutely brilliant in a few years' time. If we can manage to keep hold of him, that would be fantastic. Dolan with another free kick in. And this time Tommy Oakley's put the ball in for 3-0 for 40 minutes. For Berkhamsted FC, and Beaconsfield fans may be heading towards the exits. So as you can see, half time, keep the performance going, it's 3-0. Don't really have to worry about anything in this game now. Well, don't speak too soon. But Chamberlain went out, a long throw in, and that nearly caught the goalkeeper clean out Bonner's headed that straight over the bar maybe he could have done better just glance it instead of getting his full nut on it he could have just glanced that in we'll look to make some changes in a second for the next cup game that's coming in Brown now goes out to Splog Splog it's a lovely little finish that is from Jefferson Lewis our defenders were asleep there not happy about that I mean they're both playing really well but for that little bit of play, they were awful. Bernie can come off. He's played a lot of football so far. I mean, obviously, he's going to play a lot of football. He's, he's, our, he's our main scorer. But anyway, seven minutes to go. An easy header. Well, Lewis is in again here. Nobody's there. And again, the defence is asleep. And we've conceded two, and now do I go defensive? Do I? Do, it's just. It just. Just when it seems to look okay, it decides to kick you in the face. 
and let you concede. I tell you what, we're going to try and hold on to this and go flat back five. I mean, I know not a lot of people like it, but sometimes it works. If we concede again, then we might be in a bit of trouble. And it looks like we could do that now with this highlight coming up. He's on, he's all on his own. He's, it's been disallowed for offside, but he is all on his own. All on his own. And I can't press focus because it's decided not to let me. Does anybody else find that? Like, let me know in the comment section if you can, but I don't think... I think my game just decides to do that all the time. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to need to shout at him. Nah, don't worry about it. We'll just black it all out so you can't say anything to your players. It wasn't exactly the best win in the world. I'm going to give them a good win just to keep them motivated going into the next game. We have sort of hit this sort of little rough patch where we are conceding a lot of goals. I don't know if that's down to just the way I'm playing, just the way we're training. Um, tiredness. I mean, we're conceding in every game. The last clean sheet we had was North Lee on the end of August. I mean, the time before that was the second game of the season. So we're conceding in every single game. We need really to boost up those clean sheets. If we've got any chance of progressing onwards and getting out of this division. As well as the builder base, build base builder base the build base trophy and the league cup but um yeah i should be back in two minutes for the evesham game i'll see you then we're ready for that game against evesham now in the southern league cup which i think we could have an outside chance of winning i mean we're in the i think it's us it's our division and the league below now, if we're favourites to win the league we're in at the minute, then surely we'd be favourites to win this cup as well. So, that's what I'd like to see. Whether I will or not is a different matter. I'm going to leave Bennett, Bentley out of this game. He's just not, he's not fully fit. He's only young. Got to keep him. Don't want him to burn out too early. But the team I'm going to go with today to face Evesham is Potter in goal. Bangor at right back, Lynch and Bonner at centre backs, Cleaver left back, Doolan holding midfield, Green and Olajubu in the centre, Elek and Chamberlain, Verney up top. Let's get straight into it. Apparently I've selected two. Yeah, that's all right. Catered for that already. So yeah, hopefully. I mean, if we could push for a decent result here. Lay down the foundation to get ourselves going for this sort of cup run as well it could work out in our favour and we're at home as well so we should be able to win this quite comfortably I'm assuming by the way I don't really know anything about Evesham only that they're the league below us 25 minutes in and they've got the first highlight so we'll see what happens here it's a great tackle by Green gives it to Doolin Doolin again Lynch plays it out Olajubu plays it forward Verney now running at the defenders Sort of, he's a bit slow. He's won a penalty. I do not want, oh, I didn't want Doolin taking it. He's taken two so far this season. He's missed both of them. He's finally scored one. First goal of the season for Sammy Doolin. It could have been his third, but he's missed two penalties already, and I was going to change him then. Game moved a little bit too quickly for me. That ball's cleared out now. Evesham's still on the attack, though. Plays it over the top. Someone get out to him. It's not enough pressure. Again, poor defending. He kicks it against. It looked like he kicked that against his, our own player's face. Keeper's come out into no man's land and hasn't made anywhere near that. 37 minutes in. Long throw in. What do I... I haven't even set that up. So, I'll have a look at that later. Maybe he just likes to do a long throw in. Ball comes across. Green now controls it in the centre of the park for us. Plays it forward. Verney, good touch. Pass it to Chamberlain. Chamberlain waiting for an overlap. Gets it now from Bangora. Bangora to Green. And that is an absolutely fantastic finish for this sort of level. 
gets his foot right, right around the ball, straight into the bottom corner. Perfect from the boys leading up to half time. That's a great throw. That's a great tackle as well. Chamberlain catching everybody asleep. And there we go, half time, 2-0 up. I tell them they're capable of even better, which normally I don't like doing, but I'd like to finish this off as quickly as possible. Get it out of the way. As much as I want to win this cup, I'd rather get promoted. I need to start looking after their fitness levels in a second. That's another fantastic ball in from Doolan and a great header from Alex. Just heads it over the top of the keeper and at 3-0... I know I've said this before and it's been pulled back, but I'm quite happy to start pulling people off now. James Verney hasn't had the best of games, but I am going to bring on. Is he young? Yeah, 16 year old Norman Williams. He's been doing really well in the youth team, so I've wanted to push him up and see if we can get anything out of him in this. Or this cup, I mean, sorry, or this. I mean, I haven't really put him out in any of the divisional games because, well, what would be the point? Chamberlain could come off for Tebble because it's nearly finished and his fitness levels are down. Potter takes the ball to Lynch. Lynch now plays the ball forward. Williams, good header down. Green now flicks the ball over the top to Algets. Algets gets, a, gets tackled there. It's a good tackle, to be fair. Three minutes left. And that's going to be that. Once again, it's two wins out of two on the on a uh, YouTube on camera. It's really, really exciting to play at the minute. Just starting to get used to it all. I mean, we're doing really well. Oh, look, we've got two hundred and fifty quid for that win. Massive money. Bentley spotted at Broadball. Our fly boss is still sniffing around him. Hopefully nothing will come to that. And he'll leave him alone. So two wins then. I'm probably going to come back for maybe around here. Maybe around this month. We'll leave the rest of this month out. We'll come back for November. But uh, if you did like that, then please leave a big thumbs up in the like section, please. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you very much for watching. Take care.